Oh, that started up a little sooner than I thought it would. But that's okay. But that's okay. Can't complain too much. Just gotta make sure the stream's up and running. Looks okay. Oh, baby Jesus. <clears throat> Pardon me. We're up and live. We are recording. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Oh, welcome in. Can't even talk here. <clears throat> the live stream Let's Play. Kind of a brand that I created on my own. A little name, a cute little hashtag on Twitter and everything else. Live stream Let's Play. Yep, that's because I'm live streaming on twitch.tv. When I finish up recording on Twitch, I export videos over to my YouTube channel, where video game playthroughs then become a Let's Play. So I'm kind of doing two in one here. A live stream Let's Play. And this, of course, music's kind of blasting here. But this, of course, is Final Fantasy VII, a tremendous game. Uh, I guess for its time, it's, it's fairly subjective. It's kind of like music. But in the realm of Final Fantasy games, a lot of people would go to this as being one of the one of the better ones in the series. I would say Final Fantasy VI, III, the one with Kefka. That was my first Final Fantasy game that I actually like dove into and played. That was actually the first RPG that got me into the fantasy realm RPG genre. I have several friends to thank for that back where I grew up. Uh, they got me into, like, Dungeons and Dragons and all that stuff. The whole fantasy realm thing. Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, kind of that, you know, Lord of the Rings type stuff. Dragons and knights and medieval this and that. And RPGs are, are clearly... the front-running video games for that. However, when you kind of create a couple of new things for the RPG realm, for a video game, you don't have to have dragons, you don't have to have all of that stuff. And Final Fantasy VII showed me that, compared to Final Fantasy, well, I knew it is three on the Super Nintendo. But Final Fantasy VI, Kefka, whatever you want to... That's usually what I call it, it's Final Fantasy Kefka. He was the villain, I know it is three, but of course, chronologically, properly, it is six, whatever. So, playing that game, um, yeah, it was very fantasy realm, you had Moogles, you had uh, Sasquatch, you had all that stuff, you had magic. And I thought, this is kind of cool, I'm digging this. And that really hooked me to get this game back on the PS1. Now, initially I had a PS1, and then it was Twisted Metal was the game that, uh, that I got with it. And I thought, this is awesome. A friend of mine had it and showed me. I thought, all right, okay. Vehicular combat, I dig it. But then Final Fantasy VII was a huge must-buy. 1997. Baby Jesus. Woo! You mean to tell me that that... Wow. Think about that. Getting close to 20 years old already. And this game still sends shockwaves around. A good video game. One of the better Final Fantasies of all time, etc. But... We're gonna dive into this. The live stream Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII is now upon us, so I welcome you all in, everybody. You can call me MJ if you need to. Mic works just fine, too. If you're watching here live on Twitch, you see the name up there. I got the MJ Lakomiak. You found me here on Twitch. It's the same name on YouTube. If you miss any portion of this episode live, well, then it's saved episodically for your own viewing pleasure, your own viewing leisure. So you can check it there. And also, while well, I mentioned the hashtag Livestream Let's Play on Twitter, kind of my own little invention. I invented a hashtag, really? I guess. Look it up. I don't think there's many other people using that. Or other many people using it, for that matter. I'm kind of amped up to play this. Just a quick rundown. I'm not a speedrunner. I'm not a 100% gamer. However, there are some things that I would like to do in this walkthrough, playthrough, livestream Let's Play, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there are certain things I would want to do that, well, might be a little mundane. Of course, there's grindings going to happen. Oh, man. Just so much. One thing I will admit right now. Spoiler alert. Okay. 
okay? If you don't know this game, spoiler alert, wait for it, wait for it. I have never beaten Ruby Weapon. I would like to do that for the livestream Let's Play. Okay, spoiler done. <laughs> Not that anybody's gonna scroll through and look for me to drop my hand like that for a spoiler alert, but anyway. Man, I, I don't even know where to start right now, like... I need to press the button, how about we do that? Let's get rolling. New game, special movie? What? I don't know about that, I'll wait on that. Gotta go new game. Oh boy, wow! Okay, so assist, that'd be like the old select button is the touchpad. Options button is the start thing. Target, page, camera... I'll figure it out. So X is confirm, circle is cancel. Menu switch, okay. You can use the sticks, you can use the D-pad. No encounter is pressing in left and right sticks, gotcha. R3 battle boosts? Oh my god, I don't know. That's so much. Too much. Let's just get rolling. Here we go. Looks like we got some cinematic bars going along the sides of the screen here. We'll see about that. Let me just check the, uh, the Twitch stream here and give me a text test. And it shows up in the corner. Okay, it doesn't even show that I'm viewing my own stream. But it does show that the verbiage comes through. Love this game, by the way. Most people that play it do. So long as you're into that RPG kind of fantasy realm, you're okay with magic and shit like that. We should have somebody on the way real quick. Real quick to watch. Well, hello. Who is she? I've played this game several times. I'm gonna try to play, you know, and comment dumb. See, now the volume's really low. I was amazed when I saw this FMV, full motion video. And I thought, wow, look at all this, you know, it's a living city, there's people walking around, and they're kind of doing stuff. You know, Loveless, what is that? Is that like a Broadway play? What is this? And it pans way out. It's like, whoa, look at this city. Who was that girl? What's going on? I don't care, I'm playing the game! Look at this big, massive area, you don't even know what's going on. It's like these smokestacks, what is all this? Looks like a train. And then it zooms in where you are. Like, this was so wild. This was so incredible. And this is an HD remake. I, I'm, you know, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I have no means to record old PS1, PS2, PS3 games. <coughs> okay, a couple people jump off the train. What do we got? Come on, newcomer, follow me. Now, am I the only one that, like, voiced... Like, because this is all, you know, text bubbles. One second. Don't want the volume too high, because that's gonna make me talk loud and blow out your eardrums. Am I the only one that pictured this guy to, to be voiced by, like, Mr. T in my brain? Am I the only one that did that? Okay, so we're walking around with this spiky-headed idiot. Receive the potion on the dead guard. All right, hold the circle button to run. That's handy. Uh-oh. Can't move. Must be a battle. Ooh, face bumble is kind of in the way here. I might have to move that. Machine gun? Fuck you, I attack. Slice. If you don't know RPG's role-playing game, this would be turn-based. See that little meter out across the way that says time? That fills up, then you can execute an action. Limit gets explained. The HP, like health points, hit points. This is all your post-battle bullshit. 32 experience points for taking out those two dudes. And we gained a level. You should know RPGs by now, I would hope. <laughs> anyway. Gil, that is the, uh, the currency in this game. I might still call it gold. <laughs> Hope you understand. 
guy. Let's move on. What do we got? So who's this motley crew that I'm with here? Biggs. Wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you find one of, in a group like Avalanche. Are they like yelling when they say that because it's capitalized? Wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche! Never understood that. His name is not capitalized. Jesse Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Great question. He was in Soldier. See, not like, okay, was is capital. <laughs> that's, that's where I love it. Oh, and by the way, for those that know this game well enough, and I got a few Twitch lurkers right now, pronunciation is probably going to piss you off at some point. Um, I'm not all too familiar with all the movies and all that shit that have come out, uh, like what, Advent Children, all the, all the Final Fantasy related shit. You know, Dirge of Cerberus, was there any dialogue or was that all word bubbles? I don't recall, I never played it. So if I'm mispronouncing names the way they're correctly said, you're gonna kinda have to deal with that until the game's over, so... You know... You know, Dorkly did a tremendous, tremendous video on that on YouTube. Check that out if you can. Forgot the name of it, but it's like something to do, you know, Dorkly... Something about Final Fantasy VII pronunciation, I don't know. Funny shit, though, but... Pigs once again saying he was in Soldier, Jesse. But he quit and is now with us. So Soldier is their enemy at the... I don't know, it sounds very militant to me. Biggs is asking, I didn't catch your name. I didn't catch my name, but we will leave the defaults. And it's uh, written out perfectly, it's not all capital letters. Like in Final Fantasy Kefka. Where it's like, we must save Terra! Because she got separated from Locke! Or is it Loki? Locky? I don't know, you see, there we go, we're starting already. Select. Perfect. Cloud says Cloud. Perfect. Cloud, huh? I'm... Mm, I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. I'm not gonna try to give unique voices to everybody because I can't do much for chick voices. However, you know, Mr. T comes in, the hell y'all doing? <laughs> I told you you never move in a group, fool. I know that's terrible, but that's just, that's how I pictured his voice the very first time I played this game nearly 20 years ago. Uh, our target's the North Mako rig. Is it Mako or Mako? Sorry, I... It's Mako, sorry, whatever. <laughs> we'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Brito is in the house watching your live on Twitch. <coughs> Thanks for checking in, Brito. We got a new Saturday thing lined up, and it is Final Fantasy VII. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. Barrett. Or is it Barret? I don't know. Or is it Beret? Maybe the T is silent and he's French. Is the hell are you all doing? <laughs> Moving along, we're going to the reactor. No, Barret. It's gotta be Barret. There's no other way. Press the directional button while pressing circle to run. Face bubble is not so much in the way right now, but I think it still might be. I might move to the upper left corner. We'll see how the orientation of everything goes. Little cutscene. Hmm, so that's the reactor, huh? That big chimney that we saw. Great music in this game. Now, you have to understand, this game came out at a time when there was no voiceover bullshit going on. So, the music, although you can kind of hear it's very... not quite synthy. But... it's not as orchestral as you would find in games nowadays. Nowadays? I can set the mirror. Okay, fine. Cool. Ooh, initial or memory cursor. Hmm. What that means, uh, is... You have a big list. You have, like, fight and magic and items and blah, 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 blah. Does it stay set in, uh, like, on a memory lock to what you had? So you don't have to scroll up and go, go to magic. And then go all the way down to the, you know, whatever spell you want to use. Or is it just, it's locked onto magic, it's locked onto the spell that you were just using. I'll leave it on initial for now. ATB, what is that, the Active Time Battle? Um... Well, I guess I'll put it on wait. What that means is while you're selecting your... your options, like let's say you want to cast a spell, but you have a, a complete window of, of, you know, 30 spells. Like, well, which one do I want to use? Time is technically not passing while you're selecting. You need to be in one of those menus. But you need to... 
you know, what, you need to get into that menu. I'll, I'll put it on wait for now, I suppose. However, the battle speed... Sorry, this way will be fast. Battle message. A uh, little windows might pop up that say, like, oh, you know, this... You know, you use lightning, it's very effective. Like, those little windows... Not so fast. Field message. Uh, just out on the world. Map kind of place. Mm, we'll up a little bit. Camera angle. Auto or fixed? When it's on auto, I believe, it kind of does little cinematic rotational views. Saturday, it's raining 46 degree Fahrenheit in Final Fantasy on Twitch. Brito. Commander Brito. We're set. I just started, obviously. If you know this game, it's not even 1 o'clock for me. I got all day to play this shit. And that's another thing, too, if I could just quick touch up on that. Is Saturdays, for me is kind of a better day to uh, get a whole shit ton of streaming done. A whole chunk recording. Because my work life and work schedule is all over the place. Not every Saturday's perfect like this. But uh, most of them are. So I'm usually home and done with my workouts and all that Western Standard Time. Miami time, New York time, to make it easier for you. Uh, so usually... I can go for how many hours straight there. So Saturday is kind of a, I'm going to play a specific game on Saturdays. Whereas I've got other shit on my YouTube channel if you want to check out all that other stuff. Like I said, check up there, MJ Lacomiak. You can copy and paste it. Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. If you want to check everything else that I'm doing game-wise. Uh, but anyway, Saturday is Final Fantasy VII Day, starting today. How long? Until we're done. I'll try to hit every Saturday. I mean, work, something might come up, etc., etc., but Saturday is the guaranteed Final Fantasy VII day. So, if you're new to my stream to any degree, and you'll just like Final Fantasy VII, I'm starting from, like, fucking minute zero. So we're starting right up. Great chance to get in and just watch this start to finish, always on a Saturday. I'm not gonna just throw this in, like, a random on a Thursday or something, or, you know, Tuesday morning before I gotta go to work and I only got two hours. No, that's not enough. I want to play this in chunks. And this is the kind of game you can do that too, because there will be grinding along the way, etc, etc. Anyway, camera angle. Magic order. Uh, yeah, sure thing, I'll leave that. Window color, do I leave it blue? Sometimes I would just put it all black. Eh, uh, leave that for now. Uh, was there any other... Huh. I thought there'd be a little bit more, no? I guess not. See, if I move my face bubble up, it would kind of be sitting in front of Cloud's face for the most part. Oh well. We'll work on where it is right now. What are we doing? We'll run around. We'll run around. What do we got? What do we got? I can't even go this way. They all went up there. Let me go up there. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked. That's what happens when the screen kind of shifts and rotates like that. I just got pumped in the face by that wolf dog thing. He did it again! Oh, he tough. Battle speed kinda quick. Might dumb that down a little bit. 36 experience, and you can see the bar that kinda moves up. Kinda shows you, like, a visual aid of progression towards your next level. Of course, when you level up, you get bonuses to... Let me show you some of that if I can. Status? Okay, strength, dexterity, vitality, magic, spirit, luck, attack, attack, percentage, all the way down to... Oh, shit, if I remember how this all goes, because it's been a long time since I've played this game. But strength is like your overall, your physical attack on somebody. Dexterity, I believe, helps the chance to hit somebody. Uh, you know, kind of like... Well, whether you hit them or not. Strength is how much damage it does. Dexterity, I believe, is if you hit them or not. Vitality, I believe, is how much, like, your toughness. How much damage you take from being hit. Magic is, if I remember, your offensive magic output. Spirit, I thought, was your magic defense. And luck, I don't know what role that absolutely plays. Might be a weird combination, like Fallout does that. Luck just kind of happens, you know. You know. But anyway, the numbers along here now. Attack and attack percentage, if I remember right. Attack is kind of like your, your hitting power. Attack percentage is, yeah, accuracy to some degree. Defense, defense percentage is uh, kind of like evasion, if I remember right. So my defense percentage at 2. 
Uh, I can avoid things and not get hit 2% of the time, if I know right. Magic attack, it's, it's kind of the same number setup. Oh, wait. Magic attack, magic defense, magic defense percentage. So maybe that's luck. It is totally evading a spell from hitting you. Could be. Could be. Well, if that's what the absolution is of it, there you go. Kind of forgot. Forgive me on that note. Of course, I do have a confession. When this game came out, you know, it was 1997. I'm all of what? 15 years old. Yeah, I'm 34. And I bought a guidebook with it. I run over here. Wedge says, I'll secure our escape passage. You concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Jeez, we're really going to blow this, this huge furnace up, huh? This will be something to see. Can't even run away. Getting attacked. If you just hold down the button, I think your uh, cursor will just go nuts. You don't have to worry about pressing. Just holding the button. Fire? What is this little thing? I'm taking damage. Woo! See how the screen like flashed like that? That was a big boy hit. That was a critical, a crit, double damage, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, spin that sword around like a fucking cheerleader baton at band practice during a football game in high school. Yeah, but anyway, I, I bought a guidebook when I first bought this game, and I regret doing that. I did that with Final Fantasy VII. I did that with Metal Gear Solid. I think I bought a guidebook for Siphon Filter. Like, oh, gotta get the guidebook. I regret doing that because there was a lot of, uh, not so much spoilers, but... You know, this boss is weak against this. This boss is weak against this. I kind of regret that. It's fun for some things, but, uh... So, it's been a while since I played this. My memory will need to be jogged on probably a few things. Anyway, Barrett says, Yo, this is your first time in a reactor? And we're like, mm, No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. Shinra? The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. So it's like electricity? It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. Oh. So it's... I don't know, like water, maybe? I'm not here for a lecture, let's just do it. Alright. You come with me from now on. And... I absorb him. He's now in my party. Good old Barrett. Now, the thing with Barrett... Uh, well, I'll wait for that story to play itself out a little bit more. What do we got here? Code decipher. You press the button. Like an elevator door or something? Code decipher. You didn't hack nothing. Why aren't you coming along? What, what's your deal? Think of how, uh, think how many people risked their lives just for this code. Seriously? Okay. Big time mission. It's like big time corporate sabotage, huh? Sweet, I'm all for it. Push that button over there. Burn, switch on. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life from the planet, he's saying. Then that'll be that. It's not my problem. So, but the planet's dying, Cloud! Come on, you spiky-headed fuck. Anyway, the only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and robo-guards come. Ooh, you are. I ought to. Now, this game was originally meant to be on the Nintendo 64, which is why they look so horribly wireframe graphic built. Like, I mean, you go to the menus. Now, sure, this has been touched up and beautified here on the PS4, you know, from the PS1. But still, like, the, the character art screen, uh, the thumbnails here on the, uh, inventory screen looked a lot better. These wireframe characters were meant for Nintendo 64, like, picture Mario 64. You can see the comparisons based on the character build, right? It should be obvious. It should be real obvious. I'm excited. Volume down, music is loud. Gotcha, gotcha. Good to know. Some games are just like that, where the volume... Like, my TV is now on volume 7. Like, that's incredibly low. Some games, I gotta get there up around 20, 25. 
Anyway, hopefully that's not too bad. It's tough, like, because this little earpiece does nothing. I think that's just like if I'm in a... Like a voice chat with someone for me to hear them. Otherwise, like, I got my laptop sitting here kind of monitoring what's going on, but if I have the volume jacked up on this, you're gonna hear, like, 20 seconds later what I just said starting that battle. That might be bleeding over. And I don't want that to be the case. So I can't have my laptop too loud to see how my voice is balanced with it. It's all good, though. It's all good. Wait a minute. You know what's funny? I'm playing Final Fantasy VII, and the volume is probably perfect at seven. I like that. <laughs> hey, we just jumped across automatically. Press X in front of a ladder to grab onto it, then use the directional buttons to climb up and down. Okay, so she's like athlete of the day. She knows how to use ladders and jump and shit. What, uh, what is this? A potion. Right. What now? Prax says they in front of a ladder, blah, blah, blah. Alright, fine. Ah, now, this would be your little helper button. It's the touchpad here on the PS4, but it shows you where, like, entrances and exits are. Also, like, interactable. See that little red one that's kind of right above me right now? See that? It shows you where exits are, or entrances, depending on your whatever. Then there's a green one here right above Cloud, along with the index pointer finger. That'll always show where you are, but the, the green arrow pointer shows like an interactable, usually a ladder. Just in case you need that to move yourself around. Like, where do I go from here? Well, there's a ladder right here, so we'll take the jump down and go this away. As opposed to that away. We're gonna go hither, not yonder. That too, I've noticed. The, the battle music starts up before the screen really starts to shift if you will, and rotate it. We're going into a battle now! It's time to fight! Let's make the world swirl about! Beam! He shoots diamonds at us. I mean, they did pretty this game up the best they could. I'm sure the cutscenes are gonna look phenomenal. But the character models do look better. There's a little bit more sense of shading. I'm being very slow about this. Hey, and two extra potions for winning. Yeah, Burrito, I'm hoping this is... Oop, I didn't want to do that. I'm hoping that uh, Face Bubble is good like this. Like, you can see there's black bars on the bar, like, running right here. The whole width... ...the screen. Um, I was kind of looking for that in the, in the menu. Like, but apparently that's nothing I can do. There's no, uh... ...widescreen or... Cinematic, nothing like that. There's no 4.3, 16.9. No, oh, here's, here's a little trick. Did that work? No. Oh, big shot. Wait, we're leveled up. Limit? What is that? Braver. I don't know, but I like it. Look at that mean look. Big shot. Baby Jesus. Why are we still on the break? Shouldn't be. Is that a glitch? <laughs> be a lot cooler if it was. Why are we still on limit break? Now to explain that, and I'm gonna go back a little bit. Uh, config. Get the camera on fixed. I'll put it to fixed. This one right here. Fixed. Because anytime we're casting a spell and it kind of rotates the camera, sometimes it's too close to Barrett's face and you can't see like what's going on sometimes. Let me, let me dumb that down just a little bit. So the word bubbles show up a little slower, so the battle's a little paced a little better. But now, those bars that are flashing, limit level one. To explain those, uh, it's kind of like hulking up for all you wrestling fans. <laughs> um, when you take enough damage, that limit bar will build itself up, build itself up. When it's full and it's flashing like that, you can do those super special attack moves. Uh, they're called limit breaks. Now, I don't know, because I guess you broke your pain threshold limit, I don't know, but... Once that bar is full, you get to do like a special attack. 
everybody has their own kind of unique one, and there are levels to them. You see, it's level one. If I go to this part of the menu limit, it's like, wow, level one, level two, level three, level four, that's really cool. Okay. Uh, set break level. Well, I can't do that yet, I got no other levels to go to. But Braver, we saw that was the name, we jumped up and just fucking Samurai Delix Destiny chopped the shit out of that guy. And then, of course, we saw Big Shot. We get to... Oh, no, no, no. Hmm. Thought there was a way to... Oh, check. Attacks one opponent. Okay. Get up there. Set and check. Gotcha. What about Cloud? Oh, no, yeah, I can switch using the ones. I forgot about that, too. Huh. Check Braver. Attacks one opponent. Okay, so nothing major, but I learned something. No problems with the black bars, it's okay. Um, I think it is impossible to change from widescreen. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not against it, it's just in case someone's like, Hey man, put it the widescreen, I don't know how. This little thing down here is a save point, believe it or not. Now, a lot of questions behind this. I pictured it to be a question mark, right there. Not like that, but like that. It looks like a little question mark, doesn't it? By shape. So let's save our game right now. Come here, stand on the damn thing, the triangle button, and wow, the save option is, is there for us. I walk over here, no dice, gotta be on the save menu thingy. So yeah, let's save. This used to be a thing too. Select save data file. Okay. Oh my god. But back in the day with PS1 memory cards, depending on what slot you had your game saved on, I think it was like 15. Yep. Depending on which file you'd have your game saved to, it depended on which, like, character face would be on your memory card file. It's like, you know, Cloud, Barrett, whoever, whoever, whoever. So you'd kind of like, ooh, you'd want to look at the list and be like, no, I want that person's face to be my saved game, my good one. Just a weird thing, but... See, this is new. Save one, save two, like, what? So there's like ten built-in memory cards in my PS4? It's quite, quite nice of them. But let's just go here and we're doing this. Yay, level seven. Twenty-four minutes in, that's it? Well, that'll be fun. In fact, there's a timer right there in the menu. That's gonna be fun, keeping track of. Need to insert the memory card. You know, after a long time, memory cards would almost get like Nintendo cartridges. Well, you had to like rest it in there just good enough because you're always putting the damn thing in, pulling the damn thing out. And, like the contact points would start to get a little squirrely on, so I had to like tap it, tap it, just like a micro millimeter. Now, once again, are we? We're doing limits again. Okay. And let me do it once. I'll do it again. See, now the camera's fixed. Oops. He didn't die? See, now the limit disappears. That's interesting. Whoa, what did I do? No! No! Wow. I don't know what I did there. I kind of hit a couple of buttons and the game was literally speeding up on me. Everything was in fast motion. That's fucked up. Cloud levels up! Sweet! I think we were headed down this way, weren't we? 1998, the reactor said. Sweet! It's ahead of its time. What is this little ball here? Received Restore Materia. Okay. Well, Materia is kind of your, uh... No, never mind. Oh, I do have magic, though. That's fun! Cloud knows Ice and Bolt. Barret, don't know shit. You don't know a damn thing. It's not equipped. No accessory. Gatling gun? Wait a minute, he's got a Gatling gun. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, we saw him kind of shooting. Long range weapon. Oh, if you know RPGs, you already know. Put Barret in the back row, that's what this function's doing here. Anyone with a uh, ranged weapon does the same damage as they would in the front row. And when they're standing in the back row, they also take less damage. So it's kind of beneficial. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, memory card was for a PlayStation the same way a floppy disk was 
for a computer back in the day. Good call. Good call, Brito. Uh, when we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. I'm not blowing nothing, man. I don't know what the fuck you guys are paying me for. Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch and make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, no, that's fair. Watch out. Piercing. This isn't just a reactor. Who said that? Barrett, yeah, Barrett's asking what's wrong. Huh? So that was just Cloud tweaking out of what? Fucking... Acid flashback, or what was that? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up. Yeah, yeah, sorry. What the fuck was that? Oh, shit. Shit! It's the fucking god dogs! Shit! It's up! Here it comes! Oh, this sounds like boss music. Attack! Attack! Search scope. I'm standing right in front of him. Why does he need a search scope? Lock down the target. So it's gonna go to hit Barrett. You know, it does look robotical, doesn't it? All Barry can do is attack magic. Oh, my face is a little in the way there. But I'm trying to cast Bolt. Zap. Alright. 98, that's doing good. Now, see, this is where Memory Cursor would be good. Yeah, Face Bubble might need to go in the upper left corner. Now I'm partially convinced. Unless I minimize the size of it, but you need to see my stupid reaction to things, don't you? It's part of a live stream let's play. And hey, I'll, I'll be the first one to say, like, if I'm going to watch something on Twitch, it helps me more to watch a channel that's got a face on it, you know? Just hearing somebody play the game? Eh. Eh. Unless their content is just golden. Attack while its tail up, it's gonna counterattack with its laser. Well, shit, I already had that attack lined up. Oh boy. I mean, that didn't hurt, but it didn't feel good either. I'll just use a potion. Thank you. Well, you know what? What if I use magic? Does that make a difference? Oh, camera shifts away, tail is down. He's no longer horny, baby. Zort. 102 damage. We just broke the triple digit mark on that one. Yeah, face bubble might need to go in the upper left corner. Zot. Twice in a row he's been able to get 100 damage. Oh, there we go. Yeah, hey, hey, fuck your life. Robot scorpion thing. Yeah! Proper victory. Woo! AP, you can see we get 100 experience up there. AP, I believe, is what? Action points? And an assault gun. Well, that's interesting. Come on, let's get out of here. That's right, Cloud. Ten minutes to detonation. Now. <laughs> now we're on the clock, goddammit. Well, before the place blows up, let me save my fucking game here, alright? This place can't blow up on us. Not at all. Sure you want to save? Yes, overwrite. I'm fine with that. However, Barrett, with his assault gun, you can see the attack goes from 14 to 17. Attack percentage goes up. Why the hell not take another... A gun! The man, he's built like a brick shithouse, and he uses a gun! He's like double badass. Ten minutes, that's way more than you need. For any rookies out there. Hashtag, trust me. Come on, Jess, we got shit to do, let's move. Let's move, Jess. What's up? Alright, my leg got stuck. Oh, good thing I stopped that, huh? Thanks! Suit! And she just jumps right over me like I'm nothing. Come on, Jesse, let's climb that ladder. Get our sweet asses out of here. Mmm. Blow our reactor today. Let's 
gonna be good. Hmm. You make those sucking son of a bitch. Wish I was you to suck the planet dry. Hmm. That sounds nasty. I'm all for it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Ten minutes. Even if they made it five. I mean, you would really have to dig through the menus and get into such a fucking headache of a problem. Go the same way and back in here, hit the switch. Where's Jesse? Shouldn't she have been in the... No? Alright, now what? Code Decipher. So we had to reopen these doors. Think of how many people risked their lives for those codes. Remember that. Slice. He shoots me with diamonds. It hits me for five. I get punched in the face. It hits for ten. Slice. Yeah. It's nice how everybody's got their own little unique victory dance. Oh, the cipher. Oh, I think I got—I think I got the edge on her on that one. What are we doing here? Oh, Jesse, you fell. Get up. We still had what, like, well over seven minutes. Oof. Shockwave, the mushroom cloud. So that's part of the city, as you can see, that whole reactor. What we got here? What's going on? That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah, so those reactors are like taking the, the life out of the planet. I like what is it, the electricity, the water? How would you how would you say that? Hmm. The Mako energy. Someone's pissed off right now. It's Mako, asshole. I like. I'm. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> You'll get over it. Okay. Everyone, get back. Well, we're kind of bottled in here, aren't we? We gotta blow ourselves out, which sounds terrible. But kaboom! Just like NBA Jam. Jump out. Place is on fire. All right. There we. Go. Let's open it. What's? Oh, his biscuits are burning. Burnt his ass. All right. Let's get out of here. Rendezvous. Rendezvous. <laughs> Back at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Hey! hey. It's a bunch of money. Wait till we get back. Okay. Guess I'll just go this way where everybody else is going. For fuck's sakes. Loveless, 625. Was that like June 25th? Is that like the release date? Wait a minute, she looks like the, uh, the girl from the very beginning. She just got ran over by some dude. Excuse me, flower girl. What happened? Uh, you better get out of here. Really? I don't know what's going on, but alright. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh... Shit going down. Okay, it's the second time we've seen her, though. I wonder if that's anything. Just what the- oh, electricity. What the hell's going on? Why the huge text box for only one line of dialogue? Look at all that space right there! And it's just... It doesn't even go the whole fucking length. I don't know. Nitpick. Huge nitpick. Another potion. What's up with you? Everybody else ran away. Wonder, uh, wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Oh, great. Protectors of the planet, Avalanche. It's kind of a threatening name for someone that wants to save the planet, you know? Okay, so Avalanche wants to save the planet from Shinra, who's like part military. Hmm. One second, I'm gonna realign my face bubble just to the upper corner here. Let me get that taken care of, just, just to get it taken care of. Broadcast settings, advanced settings, let me go to camera video settings into the upper left, hopefully... Hopefully that, oh, other than the mosaic blurb that's in the way, both microphone audio and gameplay audio are being broadcast. Good, good, good. 
the mosaic blurb is out of the way. Face bubbles in the upper left corner. Hopefully I'm not in the way of uh, too much... Uh-oh. Hopefully I'm not in the way of too much other dialogue bits. Hey, you there! Sh uh, Shinra soldiers, fight them! Fuck these guys. You want a piece of me? I'm named after a fucking weather phenomenon. I'm a fucking cloud, bitch. I'm gonna rain all over you. You hit me with bullets, you shoot me in the face for four. You get ten times damage of your gun. With a goddamn sword. Well, ooh. excuse the yawning. Side note, every Saturday I have to... Wait, what the? Harumph. Shit, more showed up. Uh, yeah, let's fight these guys. If you wait too long during this set, like fight them or run, I think you'll just get suckered into fighting them. Because you took too long to decide to run. Of course, then again, I don't think selecting fight them like gives you the initiative the first attack in the fight. I don't think that's possible, so... At least I don't think. Woo! But that is something you'll need to, you know, check in with. But we ran out of there in 2 minutes 43 seconds. That's a pretty good time for not really trying to get out of there in 2.43. That's him! Harumph. Ah, fight them. Okay, so we're gonna knock these guys up, but we still got a bunch of guys on our tail right now. Oh shit! Pinched! Pinched! So my limit bar is kind of building up here. Oh, I'm getting gangbang here. Is that right? Limit break. Anytime you execute a limit break, it will be the next action taken. Pretty much for an argument. So it is kind of handy on that one. If you got somebody that's near death, and it's kind of your last desperation attack type move you're trying to go for, it will be the next thing that goes. Over here! Harumph! Uh-oh. We're surrounded. Oh shit. Look, there's people up in the fucking... People up in the windows, like, looking down, like, what the fuck? Oh shit, they were gonna come get me. Oh, look at me. Indiana Jones in this bitch. Jumping on the train. Duck. Please duck. All right, I think he ducked. But we take off on the train. Down the tunnel. Oh, what we got? Loud never came. Okay, so there's a little bit of dialogue cut off here, but Cloud never came. Loud. <laughs> Cloud. Think he was killed? No, wait. Cloud. Well, they're worried about me. That's good. Say, do you think Cloud's gonna stay on and fight for Avalanche? Ah, they what I know. But look, look at mine, reader. A rump. We all weren't such screw-ups. What does he mean? Hey, Barrett, what about our money? Eh. No, nothing, sorry. Ah! Huh? Come in! Do 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 do! Cloud! It's like Norm in Cheers. They all gotta say his name. Looks like I'm a little late. Damn right you're late. The walls in here making a big scene. Fool. It's no big scene, just what I always do. Oh, the arrogance cloud. Not bad for a guy who dresses in a lavender leotard. There, it's all expletive, expletive, shit, fuck, cock, damn, whore, cunt. I don't know. Have you ever one word like that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Sorry, Mr. T. Hmm. You were worried about me? That's a good point. What? Eh, it's coming out of your share, hot shot. <laughs> nice. He's the guy with the gun, calls me hot shot. Wake up. Moving out, follow me. A barrel chested individual. Hey, Cloud, you were great back there. What about Ramble here? Eh, <laughs> Cloud. We'll do even better next time. There you go. Careful, I'll shut this. That's all it takes. A sweep of the arm. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. 
Stop it, Mom. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Oh, and her foot got stuck? That's nothing. However, if you don't, like, interact with her when her foot is stuck, you'll go to leave the reactor, even with the timer counting down, and they'll say, like, hey, why is Jesse not here? So either you go and help her, or the bomb blows up, you die, and it's game over. Not even a half hour into the game. So last train out of Sector 8 Station. Last stop is Sector 7, Train Graveyard. Expected time arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar Standard Time. Midgar Standard Time. That's tremendous. Oh shit, we're scaring out the locals. Just, oh, just plot down. Like a big tough hombre, huh? Oh, this is why I hate the last train. Ooh, boy. Well, there we go. Ooh. Another thing, if you if you keep your little uh, touchpad button thing selected here, the little icon, it'll always be on and ready. So, like, when a cutscene ends, you'll see the little finger pointing over the top of it. What's this guy got to say? Huh? This is my house, so make yourselves at home. You live on this train. Oh boy, where's the turlet? Never mind. See the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorists that attacked the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums, blowing up a reactor. Boy, they sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next, says the bald guy. Barrett, what about you? Stop begging like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Not even shut up. Just shut up. And sit on it. Is that like Michael Jackson? Shimon, sit down. Big says, this train hasn't switched uh, to security mode yet. I'm sure that'll change by tomorrow. Okay. Fat guy, Wedge, what do you got to say? Someday Avalanche is going to be famous. And me too! Mr. Self-Esteem himself. Look at little pouty cloud. He looks like Grumpy Cat, he does. He motherfucking looks like Grumpy Cat. I don't want to say the planet, I don't care. I just want my money. That's it, he's Grumpy Cat. Spiky-headed Grumpy Cat. Hey, Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Midgar, Midgar, I'll say it both ways. Giggy. <laughs> Let's look at it together, I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. <laughs> so Jesse seems like a, a vibrant little soul. Okay, it's about to start. Nice little wireframe. Uh, this is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about a 1 10,000 scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. Top plate. 50 meters above ground. Uh, the main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars. So this place is layered. Oh, uh, support pillars are built in each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's two, three, all the way around up to number eight. So there's eight. So this is basically like like an elevated pizza. Eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Okay, so that Mako stuff. Well, they just said with electricity. So electricity is not a. Okay, gotcha. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's just how things turn out. Phew. Look what's next. Look. This is the. This is the route this train is on. Do you say route or route? Eh, we'll get we'll get onto that eventually. Just wait for a whole new live stream let's play. Route or route. Anyway. Uh, the route spirals, uh, spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Uh, each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities. Hey, back on you. Oh, each passenger on the train, excuse me. Whew. And it's linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Sweet, let's go get a shot of rum. I got some Bacardi Oak Heart. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Speak of the devil. That light means that uh, we're in the ID security check area. You mean that beeping and the fucking red light? When the light goes off, you never know what kind of creeps will come. 
We're almost back now, so that's all right. Huh. That was quick. Arab says, look, you can see the surface now. This city don't have no day or night. Now, if that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. So, a floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. Full of surprises? What? The upper world. A city on a plate. It's because of that fucking pizza. The people underneath are suffering. So what he's saying is that there's layers. There's like the slum level underneath, all the support pillars, and the rich people literally live on top. So it's, uh... Yeah, I don't know, take a Tupperware container, right? There's the bottom. Then you got all this shit goes in. And then on the top, it's all fine and clean and pristine, you know? It's a it's a city that's a giant Yeah, a plate, an elevated plate. Well the good shit is on top. It's not like the oblongs where it's just the top of the hill and all the shit rolls down to the bottom of it. Well it's kind of the same concept, but on a plate. Uh, the city below is full of polluted air. I suppose if it can't really escape anywhere. I mean, you picture the trains, the cars, and all that stuff. The lower level is just completely fucking boxed in. So it's got a, it's a slum. It's pollution. It's terrible. It sounds bad. But on top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy with the Mako reactors, right? Uh, then why doesn't everybody move on to the plate? Good question. Don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money. Uh, or maybe... They love their land no matter how polluted it gets. Well, that's just fucking silly. I would move. I'd get up there however. Hmm, if I, think I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. Yeah, that's true. It's like this train. Can't run anywhere except where, where the rails take it. And that too is true. Let's see, where is the train? Hey, maybe people are just broken. I mean, you're in a slum. But why the fuck would you not leave? Look at the size of this place. We're just on a spiraling fucking train that goes around the main support pillar. As we about to jump out. Woo! People walking out. Ooh, excuse me. Well, there's Wedge, there's Jesse, there's Biggs. The little guy's named Biggs. That's funny to me. Or at least humorous. Hmm. Yo, Barrett. Wait, Barrett says, yo, get over here, all oh, y'all. Okay. What do we got? This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's gonna be bigger than that. Let's not say that right in front of the fucking train conductor guy, you know? Meet back at the hideout. Move out! Alrighty. You know, however, what's this guy got to say? What do you got? When you've been a train man as long as I have, you see a lot of people and a lot of lives. People meeting, partying, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you anymore. Can imagine. There was an exit over here. What do we got? Looks, uh, I don't know if I should be out here. Of course, I don't think I can do anything out here. Can't walk down. There's areas to move to, I just can't seem to get off this platform I'm on. Which might be for the best. Oh, no, no. Here we go. Shouldn't be here right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's the train graveyard. You heard him mention that earlier. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow! Isn't there somewhere we can be alone? Wow! <laughs> there's only the train graveyard around here, and they say there's ghosts around too. Damn. What? Sure. Ghosts in a tr train graveyard. Ah! Hey now! Oops! What on earth are you doing? Just butt out! Jeez! Huh? You came to see it too. There was a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point worrying about that. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? What are we looking at here, kid? So this is the... 
the sector support beam. Gotcha. Gotcha. Impressive. Ooh. Yeah, it's holding up. Wow. You kind of get the idea, like that upper plate that, that keeps everything, you know, underneath terrible. Oof. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come on here if you want to. See you, bro. What are you, bodybuilder? Yo, Cloud, over here. I'm saving. What if a bomb goes off or something, you know? Fuck. G give me some time here. Now, now that Cloud's alone... No other weapons or armor. Okay, that's fair. I feel like I'm hitting a wall here, as far as consciousness. Hey, guards. What the hell do you want? You know who I am? You can't pass. I got the miserable job of keeping scum like you from trying to sneak in here. What? Well, wow, you're great. Damn right. Don't waste time talking. Uh, don't waste time talking is what I always say. But, uh, I... You mumble, sir. You mumble incessantly, if that's the right word. It just sounds important. Texas combo something. What? The, what is this? Who are these people? There's kids! And he just went in there stomping around, whatever the fuck. Barrett. What happened here? Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. They say there was a terrorist explosion up above, and that this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what this means? Uh, no, what? You see, I keep my, uh, keep on top of these things. I don't know about what, what man, if you ask me. I don't know. <laughs> if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are gonna be knocked out, too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. A billion dollars worth of damage we just did? That ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed, too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. Oof. But wait, we blew up a reactor. That wasn't like a housing tenement or whatever. This medical explosion has really sent Midgar into a fit. What's up with this kid? He was in the bar. Was explosions, explosions. Oh man, Avalanche is so cool. Dude, he's like Shaggy. Explosions! Explosions! Oh man! Avalanche is so cool like Scoobs! Let's go fire up the noob! You still know that fire spell? Oh shit! What the hell's wrong tonight? I thought that long blackout was strange. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself, and all of a sudden I get kicked out of the fucking store. What's up with that? So he's he's fucking crocked, huh? But you read it. Oh, ah, jeez, I'm blitzed. Oh, baby, Jesus. I just love them homemade cocktails, but they sure do creep up on you. Oh, Jesus. Hey, what is this? A, must be a shop of sorts. Let's go check it out. We're closed today. Come back tomorrow. Well, fuck you too, then. I swear to God. Hey, walk through the curtain. Wow. What is this? Hey! Wait a minute! Wait a minute, you? You can't just walk in here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for if you know what I mean. You all sets of defensive piece. Interesting, interesting. Got the assault gun. Grenades. I don't have any grenades. Are they worth it? Well, how about one iron bangle? Just to have... Sure, whatever that was. I know what that was. I'm just playing dumb for now. Who's this guy? With the gun that he's not holding. Hey, what the- You! Anyone talking to me must be a novice. Um, actually, I used to be in Soldier. My name's Cloud. Oh, he takes his little stance, like, Hmm, brave boy. My name's Cloud. I used to be with Soldier. Got no business with you. He shot me, harumph. Well, I never heard of you. Um, what if I am a novice? Yep, that's me. No, oh, what? Everybody's got to start sometime. Ooh. Shot me again. Don't act so big, amateur. See, as I'm such a warm-hearted guy, I'll show you the ropes. 
Come back here tomorrow. I got some things I gots to do. Things I gots to do. Where do these stairs go? They go up. Ghostbusters reference. Oh, now we're up on this little balcony job here. Oh, well, there's a ladder going up. Let's just check the room here. We'll see what we got. What's up with you here? He's got a fucking hard hat on. Mm. Who the hell are you? No unauthorized access. Since today's special, I'm gonna let you in on a juicy bit of news, but you gotta keep it to yourself. Do you know about what's been going on? Uh, dot, dot, dot. Ellipses. Everyone's in a buzz about that terrorist group avalanche blowing up the Sector 1 Mako reactor. On the surface, they say uh, they're an anti shinner group. Uh, in reality, they say they're just out to kill as many people as they can. Rumors, I say. Ha ha ha, that's a good one, ain't it? Well, they're busting up things on top, the only ones making out good are us weapon stores. Now if we can just get rid of this backstock, we'll be doing okay. Backstock in a weapon shop? Yeah, what's it like? That should be a discount. Well, talk to the kid in the red now. You know what I do? Bet you don't. Come here tomorrow and I'll tell you. Ah, uh, there just ain't no good jobs here in the slums. I want to go to the upper world. Well, if there's no good jobs here in the slums, check out a job up top then. Or is it literally like that far of a fucking walk? Is it that far of a trans, uh, you know, endeavor? This is a slum, so I don't think you can stay for free. Alright. What are you gonna do? Uh, doesn't just seem like, uh, oh, doesn't the, just seeing the bed make you sleepy? For me, yes, like, my eyes are not cooperating right now. No way, I don't need sleep. Not for ten bucks, ten gold. Tough guy, huh? Better sleep while you can. Better save while you can. That's the, that's the trick to being tough. Remember that, old dude. Okay, I tend to save often anyway, so. Well, this game really, really wanted to make it feel like, oh, you're the complete badass tough guy, you don't need sleep, but the world is going ahead. Oh, don't even need the ladder, just jump the fuck down like a tough guy. Commander Brito checking back in. Oh, my eyes. My brain don't want to function. Maybe I should stand up a little bit, get some coffee going. You know what, how about maybe I do that? <sighs> just to get some blood flow going to the main unit up here, you know? Okay, go on ahead, Baron says. So this is our joint. Can't read the word. What? Yo, Cloud, get off your slow-moving ass. Look in there. Papa! Wait, what? Okay, I got a kid. Marlene, aren't you gonna say anything to Cloud? She did, she said Papa. Sweet. So we got a kid, that's cool. Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Uh, yeah, actually. We, uh, we knocked out a couple, a couple dozen guys. I should've known. He's always pushing people around. And you've always been in fights since, uh, you know, you were little. So, she knows me that well. I was worried. What? It's like, I'd be okay? Tifa. Okay. Tifa or Tifa? I say Tifa. I mean, I literally say it that way. I'm not saying it's right. It's just how I say it. Uh, so glad everyone's safe. Hoo ha ha. Excuse me. Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. She called me Papa. She's shy. Well, like, maybe I'm not around much. That's fair. What do you got, Biggs? Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. He's right. He's right. I'm pouring myself a drink. Picked up something yesterday, as a matter of fact. Here we go. Let me uh, show you a little bit of something here. Some uh, Bacardi Oakheart. I had one shot so far, and my favorite shot glass, because it's got, like, little measuring lines on it. Can you kind of put that on the backdrop of the, uh, my pillows there? See, it's got, you know, millimeters, ounces, or, oh, oh, oh. See, everything's backwards for me. But it's got some measuring lines to it, so it's a good way to know that you're pouring yourself an absolute shot. Not to say that that was the biggest walk in the world. Everything's right there, but 
swig of Bacardi Oakheart rum for the gamer guys and girls out there. Let's uh, let's do our, our fun little drinking routine. I like that cap too. That's nice. Anyway, cheers to you. Just a nice slow sip to get that taste in there. And as per usual, ah, it's fucking tasty. It's just a thing I do <laughs> after I take a drink. At least once a video if I can help it. Anyway, oh boy. Check the cap on this Bacardi Oakheart. It's like two... Two, like, axes crisscrossed with a, with a nice, you know, rum barrel. I don't know what those little flames are on the side of the barrel, but... That's a cool little logo. Bacardi Oakheart. Not bad, I like that. It's a really good... You know, like, I'm just taking a straight shot. You could have this stuff on the rocks or something. It's, uh, just got a good sweet to it. Sweet kind of good flavor, kind of a caramel, caramel. Yeah, if I'm gonna be mispronouncing words and names and everything. Tifa, Tifo, Mako, Mako, Cloud, Claude. No, his name's Cloud. We're all in agreement on that. But, I'm, a. will pour myself a shot, have a nice little slow sip. My frat boy days are just pound it till it's gone. You don't even want to treat girls like that anymore. Come on, frat boys, wake up out there. Get a good sip of it and get a flavor for it. See what that booze is like. No mixers, just straight up. First drink after a job. Biggs, you goddamn right. Looks like they're they're eating. I guess they're eating. I don't know. Yes, Brito, I'm drinking rum. I'm pirate-ish. Why not? All about some booty. Anyway. <laughs> Biggs. <laughs> He's got the cartoon drunk going on. Why don't you have one too? Yeah, why not? Ah, that's more like it. Drinking buddies. Even if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you better listen to whatever I tell you. I'm not gonna go that far. I mean, a drink, sure. Nothing wrong with that. Um, what about you, Wedgie? Oh, Cloud, Tifa really knows how to cook. Mm. Anyway, let me tell you something. Uh, about what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. I imagine so, you're kind of... You're kind of portly in your own right. Get away from my wife's cooking, though. He is roly-poly, look at that. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that make this shop famous. What's... Well, you'd think any shop is like that. And Jesse, our kind of adventuring chick of the group. Hey, Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. Oh, God, he's one of those eaters, huh? Um... Okay, well, what, uh... Let's head out. Nope. Okay. There it comes barreling right back in. Papa, welcome up. Wait a minute. Marlene said that. So, Barrett is her papa. Oh. Okay, so it's not like Tifa and I are a couple, or it's not our kid. Okay. But she's asking, you all right, Barrett? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting a meeting. We're having a meeting at the... Wow. The pinball machine is a secret entrance. That's fucking clutch. Sit down. Sure. How about something in the drink? Give me something hard. I'll give Tifa something hard. Just a minute, I'll make one for you. Well, the ice cube sound sounded nice. The shaking, not so much. Oh well. Uh, you know I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? Job wasn't even that tough. I guess not. You were in Soldier after all. So Tifa and Cloud have a past. I don't know if they're married or something, but make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Of course. Don't worry. Once you get that money, I'm out of here. Huh? Just like that, Cloud? Why are you feeling all right? Yeah, why? No reason, just a little tired, I guess. Well, we just blew up a reactor and I had a drink. I mean, you know, I've had calmer days. Nothing else in the kitchen. Give me another drink here if you could, sweetheart, huh? Huh? Oh, better go down below. Fair enough. Pinball, huh? Sure. I'll buy that for a dollar. 
RoboCop reference. Too uptight. Oh, I don't really know you that well. Too uptight? Nah. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about me. I don't look like it, but I'm a coward at heart. Okay, I can, I can kind of see that. You seem timid to some degree. Not uptight, but timid. Jesse says, oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. Think it was all because of my bomb? Well, I really did was just make it like the computer told me. She found how to make out a bomb on the internet. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Um... The TV says sin. Final Fantasy X? Never mind. Stupid machina. <laughs> Today, the number one reactor was bombed. The terrorist group Avalanche has claimed responsibility for the bombing. It is expected that Avalanche will continue its reign of terror. Citizens of, Midgar, uh, citizens of Midgar, there is no need to fear. I have immediately mobilized soldiers to protect our citizenry against the senseless violence. Thank you, and good night. The old static. Anyway. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. He's all on the power bag, the heavy bag. So I'm pretty sure about that. If there was any from Soldier, you would be standing here right now. You just wouldn't. Don't go thinking you just so bad just because you was in Soldier. Oh, hold him back. Hold him back, Wedge. Or Biggs. There you go. Blammo. Knock him right into the screen. Breaking the fourth wall, huh? Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all? Fuck. Stairs, what? Talk about my money. Yeah, you tell him on your tippy toes. Is Bear gonna punch me? Shucks. Money. Hey, Tifa. Wait, Cloud! Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. The Shinra. So, Shinra's like a company that's sucking the lifeblood out of the planet, then they also have their own private military by the name of Soldier. If I'm getting that all right. I am getting that right. Just filling you in here a little bit. Cloud says, Shut up. I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But Cloud was in Soldier, so he was technically an employee of Shinra. I mean, that'd be perfect. You get somebody from the inside. How do you catch a jewel thief? You hire another jewel thief. Because they have to think alike, you know? Anyway, don't get me wrong. I care about Avalanche. Well, I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Power bag like a motherfucker. What's up, Tifa? No, 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 no. I'm not watching the TV. I'm looking down at Tifa. I'm nowhere near the telly. Straighten things up with everyone for me. Okay, like motherfucker. Money. Oh my. Must have been for a lot of it. Sure, what the hell? It's a verbal agreement. Now let me figure this out. Oh, stop it, Cloud. Did you hear me? Maybe. Is she on the phone? What is she? Looks like she's pouting her crying. Cloud, you say you don't care, but you came to talk to me. Cloud, you just want friends. Isn't that right? No, I don't need friends, no, I mean... What, what is Cloud's or like, deal here? What's... I really don't care. You're terrible. Real cold boy. Really? Let's loop the dialogue then. Blow off? Did I say blow off? Or... Yeah, well, it's kind of lonely to me. If you ever got anything you want to get off your chest, you can always talk to me. All right, roly poly. Boy, he's still on that power bag, just fucking... That heavy bag, just blasting the shit out of him. Let's get moving here. Oh, here comes Tifa. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. Also, she's with the group. She's not just running this fucking joint as the front. Sorry, Tifa. The planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it is dying. Someone has to do something. I mean, I kind of get it. Um... So we'll let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving? You're just gonna walk out and ignoring your childhood friend? Oh, so we're not married anymore, huh? What? 
Okay, well, I don't know these things. How can you say that? And it's sorry. So Tifa and Cloud are childhood friends. You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Guys are like that. Anniversary, you know? But they gotta remember to get their fantasy football league locked in before Thursday's kickoff. They know that much. Remember? Cloud, it was seven years ago. You know, like most uh, Japanese-style RPGs, the characters in this game are all of, like, 19 years old. Like, 24 is kind of old for an RPG player. You know, like, main character. Uh, and if I remember that guidebook I had... Um... Cloud was... Uh, was he... I don't think it was 18 or 19, but that's usually the, uh... It's usually how it goes. So seven years ago, look at the well, do you remember? Now this is just kind of like a backdrop, like a flashback that they're... They're still talking to each other in the bar. But this little flashback, it's... Yeah, it's just a visual thing. You know, you know. I thought you would never come and I was getting a little cold. So what happened there? So they're kind of setting the stage. Now seven years ago, when we were Link, and she was a brunette Zelda. Sorry, I'm late. So she was all like in a cute dress, you know, seven years ago. Like, how old are these kids? Honestly, seven years ago. This makes them look like they're, you know... I mean, if they're ten here, they look younger than ten years old. Tell me they're 16, 17 years old? I honestly forgot. Anyway, uh, you said you wanted to talk to me about something. Was this is back in the day here. Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. So they grew up together, wound up in Midgar somehow. Tifa said, all the boys are leaving town. Dude, you're young, just make out or whatever, kiss and, you know, do your thing. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. Well, what are you doing then, Link? Cloud? Whatever. I want to join Soldier. That's what all the kids do. They got no idea what they want to do in life, so they go to the military. I'm gonna be like the best there is, just like Sephiroth. So Sephiroth is like a famous soldier. The great Sephiroth? No, Sephiroth who's bagging fucking groceries. How many people are named Sephiroth? What do you- come on. Like, that's my joke. MJ Lakomiak. How many fucking Lakomiaks do you know? Honestly. That's why I use it as like my gamer tag on Xbox as much as I can. MJ Lakomiak, that's who I am. I'm not Electric Rhino 420, 1982. No, 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 no. Uh, anyway. Isn't it hard to join Soldier? Dialogue. Let's move on with this. I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Well, yeah, you gotta go through basic training and all that shit. You know. Oh, Desired Stoner's in the house. Welcome in. Didn't see you pop in here. Welcome into the live stream. Let's play Final Fantasy VII. We are but only, what, an hour in? A little over an hour. So, getting ready. This will be our new Saturday thing right now. Desired Stoner. If you love the game, if you're just interested in what the fuck I'm doing, Saturday is now Final Fantasy VII Day. Terraria, pretty much done with, um, PS4 style. So, every Saturday will be Final Fantasy VII Day. So, got nothing else going on. Dare want to listen to me dialogue through this game and bullshit and all that stuff? Pull on up a chair and let's uh, let's go about it. What do you say? Uh, we're going. We're going. Flashback style. Tifa says, "If you make it in soldier, will you be in the newspapers?" Well, that's not a guarantee. It's the military. I mean, yeah. Cloud says, "I'll try." Seven-year-old Cloud or seven years ago Cloud that looks like Link. Hey, let's make a promise. Oh, this is what she's talking about. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come save me, all right? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. So they are like boyfriend, girlfriend or something. I want to experience that at least once. What? Come on, promise me. All right, I promise. So they made a promise seven years ago when they looked all of eight years old. Like, how old are they now? 
I mean, here they at least look like they're in their 20s. At least, I mean, well, they, he's got to be at least, you would think, if it's by the laws of the United States, he's at least 21, so we can have that drink, and she can be a fucking, you know, have a liquor license. I don't even know what that age is. I mean, they're not 30 years old, but let's just say they're probably 20... 25 max. I'll give them 21, 22. Seven years ago, that's them at 14. They looked like fucking knee-high to a grasshopper. They looked like they were six, seven, eight years old. Anyway. You remember now, don't you, our promise? Well, I guess so, the flashback just showed me. Hey, but I'm not a hero, Cloud says, and I'm not famous. So I can't keep our promise. That's true, too. That's right, Cloud, continue being a nobody. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. Yeah. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. Barrett just climbs up. He doesn't even need the fucking pinball machine. Wait a sec, big time Soldier. Was he just jerking it? What was it? What was that? Never mind. Promise is a promise. Here. Ding, ding. There we go. Barrett's stash. 1,500 gil. Fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred gold. Fifteen hundred forms of currency. This is my uh, fifteen hundred Bitcoin, right? <laughs> this is my pay. Don't make me laugh, dude. I'll take fifteen hundred. What? Then you'll you got the next mission lined up. I'll do it for three thousand. What? It's okay. It's okay. Reassure him, woman. We're really here, uh, hurting for help, right? Everybody's from Arlene schooling. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll take a discounted rate at that. Um, 2,000? Cloud asked for three, I'm assuming that's 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. Stupid face bubble being just in the way of dialogue, you know? Okay, so we, uh, we're in the basement now. I guess we were sleeping on this nice metal mesh flooring. TV's not doing anything. Computer's not doing... Oh, we'll check the computer. So we'll just run our asses upstairs and, uh... Well, here we go. Arlene, pour me a drink. It's first thing in the morning. I need a... I need a fucking pick-me-up. Good morning! Cloud! That should be one sentence, not two. Did you sleep well? Barrett's more kept over. Next to you, who- Oh, go, go, yeah, go for it. Next to you, who wouldn't sleep well? So well said as if I were Zep Brannigan. I don't know what you mean. Anyway, I'm going this time. Okay. Um. What's up, Barrett? My target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. Okay. Fill you in on the train. Gotcha. Yo, Cloud. For the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, don't really know how to use materia. We did pick up some materia just before we set the bomb at the reactor. Remember, it was, uh, restore materia. Anyway, I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. <sighs> okay, I'll explain it. It's fairly simple. Tutorial, tutorial. Alright, first access the menu, like normal, you know. Uh, you know the basic functions. Press triangle to bring up the menu. Directional buttons move the cursor. Just doing it on its own, just like that. Uh, select each menu by using cross button, not the X button, cross button, you know. Uh, if you want to leave the menu, hit circle. See, let's go ahead. You do it. Select the materia submenu. It is. Select who you want to use it. Oh, face bubbles kind of in the way. But there's only three people, so that's not too big of an issue. Uh, now look at any... Uh, sorry, look at my weapon here. Each weapon and armor has slots in it. You see how those things are? Uh, choose which slot you want to put the materia in. So each weapon and piece of armor have slots. It's kind of like socketing weapons in Diablo, if that makes sense. If you know those games. Uh, select the material you want to use. So, yeah, see that figure eight thing along the way? Um, those two, like, blackened dots? That's the socketing. The spaces you can put material. Material is like a physical, like a gem, if you will. 
but then we want to use the restore material. So click that. This is a curative material to restore hit points, health points. If you want to know what its effect is, line up the cursor with it. Uh, line up. Line the cursor up with check in the menu. Okay. And press cross button. Um, it's just like selecting battle commands. Just line up the cursor to magic. And you paste. Using 5 MP. You can see down uh, in the lower right corner, MP, like magic points. Mind point. Like, it's really weird. Maybe it's a D&D &D thing from back in the day, but I see HP and I think, like, hit points. Most people might say health points. Well, hit points. You know, you hit me for 5 damage. You hit me for 17 damage. That's, I, I, would, I tend to call them hit points a lot. And MP, I tend to call them mind points, because in order to cast a spell, you need to, you know, concentrate, focus, use your mind. So, again, another difference we might have. Health points, hit points, magic points, mind points. You get the idea. Mana points. It's all the same. You get the idea. But uh, you can now use new, ma uh, new magic cure. Not so much the band, but the spell. Uh, and that's all there is to equipping material. Okay. See, it wasn't tough. However, there are some interesting things. Oh, sorry. When you want to remove any material, uh, it's as easy as pointing to the materia slot in the socketed fucking item and pressing the triangle button and whoop, wipes it out. Uh, there's just one thing you have to be careful of. Whenever you equip the materia, your situation changes. As you can see kind of down there, the, uh, the strength, magic, all those plus one, minus one percentage numbers, red and yellow colored, parts of you may become stronger depending on the materia you have equipped. So, equipping this Restore Materia lowers my strength down one point, but ups my magic plus one. Uh, max HP is down two percent. Maximum magic points up two percent. So, there's, there's pluses and minuses. Some things will make you stronger in certain areas and weaker in others. Understandable. Let's make weak exactly what I said. Normally, when you equip magic material, your magic power will get stronger, but your physical strength weakens. Uh, materia is kind of a double-edged sword in that regard. Uh, something in the left side of the screen. You can see Materia's effect on you. Um, otherwise, try not to... I don't know. Try various things. Press circle button to exit the sub-menu. Okay, that's about it. I'll give you some advanced tips later. Fuck! What's this? It wasn't tough crap. What, what was all that cloud? I, I, I don't get it. You just handle the material. Materia system. Access the menu and select material to equip it. Woohoo! Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. We were just there earlier. Last night. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. You're gonna let this little five-year-old watch your bar? She doesn't have a liquor license. You're gonna get shut the fuck down. Anyway. She says, all right, good luck. Eh. It's poor parenting, isn't it? Anyway, so Materia. All right, there's three people you can have in your party at once. You can't see the little arrow pointer thingy when I'm on Cloud, the top character. But deductive reasoning. You can tell. Who I'm gonna aim for. Just for argument's sake. Um, Cloud has lightning and ice attached to his weapon. Now, the, didn't we get that, uh, that armor piece? Ah, the iron bangle. You can see here, when I go to weapon versus armor, this has those little, like, slot sockets. You see right there? Uh, and growth. Normal, this, nothing. Well, there is no, there's no socket on this bronze bangle. If I go and get this iron bangle now, there is, you can see, a one little slot growth bubble thingy. So let's equip that piece. Okay, cool. And that, I think, makes a difference, too. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, if you put a specific... Well, maybe I'm wrong. Let me just uh, check. All right, lightning and ice are here on my weapon, on my buster sword. I have nothing in my iron bangle, so let me just... Strength and All right, fine. Let me... well, what if I put that here? No, it's all the same. Okay. 
Uh, sometimes, maybe that's later. Who knows? But, uh, well, we'll let that ride itself out. Anyway, Cloud now has the Lightning, the Ice, and the Restore Materia. Um, I don't know so much about doing that. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, slow that down. Because, see, he's gonna get all these negative effects. Let's let Cloud be our Lightning guy. Um, Tifa... You know what? Shiva was an Ice... Uh... Elemental. Shiva was female. Tifa's female. She'll get the ice. And Barrett, though it might not make much sense, he will have the restorement. So everybody's got at least one, and so you're not so negative with one person. I mean, look, all three of those would be minus three strength. It's not exactly good. Plus three magic. But, eh, one apiece. Cloud has lightning. Barrett has restore. Tifa's gonna use the ice. That's fair go with that. Um, any other equipping we can do? Oh, that's another thing, too. Now, remember, Baron has that new gun. He has the assault gun. His Gatling gun, you can see, only had one socket to it. This new assault weapon has two sockets, and they are linked together. Uh, you can't quite tell the difference right now. I guess I'll show that along the way when it happens. Um, Tifa, leather glove. So she's a fisticuffs melee fighter. Gotcha there. So there's a sword, a gun, and some gloves. And she's already on limit break. That's cool. Let's go back to the weapon shop because Tifa suggested it. And when Tifa is suggestive, I'm all for it. Uh, she did say upstairs. Wait, what do you, what do you got? You can just walk in there without buying something. Might be unhealthy for you. Yeah, well, now, you know... Dude, Iron Bangles, I got 2,000 bucks, 2,000 gil. Uh, let me buy two of them. So that way, Barrett and Tifa can both have that shit lined up. Good. Better defense, better armor, Papa John's. No, no. Whoa, what's going on now that the gate's open? Oh, he's got a dog with him. Is this received all material okay hey you got one right off that was material next take this treasure chest whoa hey buddy okay i got an ether okay now listen hidden in these treasure chests are a lot of items there are a box it's like talking right now isn't that cute there are box types and bag types so make sure you don't overlook any gotcha What's up here, Mr. Hardhead guy? Oh, everybody gets to talk here. This is the beginner's hall. You say you're a beginner, but your eyes say you're not. For recording purposes, I'll probably just do this. Don't mess with me. I used to be a soldier. I'll tell you how much I know, and for free, too. What do you want to know? Oh, boy. How to heal your allies, curative magic, weapons and armor, how to apply material. Oh, my God. Do I really want to do all of this stuff? Because if you've seen my livestream Let's Plays in the past of anything else, I'm not much of a reader. You know, Fallout. Stumble upon a monitor that we need to hack into. I don't need to read seven pages of fucking dialogue that's specific to that building only. And the people who were there 200 years ago. You know... Kind of told you about the limit status and all that stuff. How to check your status. Well, we haven't been hit with anything like poison or confusion yet. But, uh... Well, status effects. I'll try to give you the rundown there. We run through this whole thing. Oh, no, no, no. This is complete tutorial. Always know your current status. This is one of the basics in battle. I access the menu and select status. And select the person you want to check. I kind of look at this. Are you surprised the amount of information? I'll explain the order. First, these are your experience points and your level. Okay. The more experience you get in battle, the stronger you become. Well, the higher your level. Not so much how much experience. I mean, they work hand in hand, but it, it's, it's in levels. Uh, this gauge tells you how many points you need to get to the next level. You, uh, you can't beat stronger enemies. You raise your level by fighting weaker ones. Grinding. That's another you know, word and terminology of my grinding. I'm going to go here and just grind up a little bit. Just fight a bunch of enemies and try to level up. 
Uh, it's not so good for recording purposes, but if I say I'm gonna go grinding, that means I'm gonna go kill a lot of things and try to build up, you know, get a couple levels higher. Farming is another term. Uh, that's like if you want to go, you know, farm for a bunch of, uh, specific items, things like that, or you're just gonna go on the search for items. Uh, but grinding and farming, kind of the same thing. You're trying to obtain something, whether it's higher ability through, you know, leveling up, or, you know, certain enemies drop certain things, so you... But it's a random encounter, like, one every 20 will drop the item you're looking for. So I gotta kill 20 of these things, perhaps, to look for that one item that I'm looking for. I'm, I'm going farming for an item right now. Farming, grinding, somewhat the same thing. But, anyway, grinding is for leveling up. Uh, you'll improve your physical and magical skills upon leveling up. Next is HP and MP. HP is your life force. Hit points, health points. If it reaches zero, you'll no longer be able to fight. You'll be unconscious, be knocked out. MP is the source of your magic power. Every time you cast magic, you use MP. And when you run out of it, you'll no longer be able to cast spells. However, there are, uh... uh with MP, certain spells, let's just say we have the lightning and the ice spell. Let's just say that we have 100 MP. And the lightning spell costs 20 to cast it. Well, we can use it five times. Let's just say that the ice spell uses 50 MP. Well, then we can use it twice. So certain spells have a, have a different value to their MP. This is a lot of uh, rhetoric and, you know, shit that you already know, most of the gamers, I'm sure. But still, for those that don't, I'm trying to help you out the best I can. Anyway, uh, the limit gauge. Where is the limit gauge? They're not showing me the limit gauge. It shows your anger level. Okay. You get punched enough, you're gonna, uh... Go get pissed off. Like I said, you're gonna hulk up, right? You're gonna hulk smash. When the gauge is full, you can use a limit technique. And we've seen those. Talk about limit techniques anywhere. Oh, uh, you know the battle commands. Classified roughly into two groups. Attack, regular physical, physical attacks, magic and summoning, casts magic. Uh, each has attack power, defense power, and escape power. Probabilities. The value depends on your equipment and your experience level. Neat. The total effect is on the chart below. These are commands you can use in battle. As well as uh, your presently equipped weapons, armor and accessories. Uh, press cross button here one more time. Oh, and you can see these are all types of attacks. Some monsters are weak against fire, some other you know, weak against ice, some weak against lightning, etc. The materia or items you have can add these elemental attacks. So that's nice. Or they can protect you from them. So if you have an elemental fire, uh, you can take... and something casts fire on you, it heals you. Or it's less damage, depending. This chart showed, God damn it, this is forever. Like, we kind of get, I can describe all this stuff. Here's all the other status things. Death, near death, sleep, poison, sadness, fury, confusion, silence, haste, slow, stop, small frog, slow, numb, petrify, regen, barrier, and barrier, reflect, shield, death sentence, manipulate, berserk, peerless, paralyzed, darkness. And those are things that can be used on you and things you can use on other people. I guess I can explain those later on. Because who the hell wants so much tutorial in episode one? Good god. Can I seriously back out of this? Can we get this... Wait, wait what does that do? What does the R... What does pressing the R3 do? Oh. That's all good. Back out. What do you want to know? Uh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Status? Something? Effective ways to use material? Well, uh, shit, I, I can probably describe that a lot quicker. We'll worry about all this shit later. That's all. You saw me use a potion, so healing ain't gonna be too bad. Ooh, save point. Yeah, let's do that. Why Why not? We're, we're right here. Burrito's heading for lunch. I'll still be here for a while. I might take a small time out eventually to go eat, but... Hell, they could still be on camera whilst gaming. Do 
I really want to talk to all these people? What do you got, little girl? This is the fabled save point. That's save point you can save. I got you there, alright. Blah, 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 blah. You can save anywhere on the world map. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Keep an eye out for me. They explain limit breaks. I think we're good in that room. What was higher up? I honestly don't remember. What was that kid? Oh, here he is. This is a slum. I think you can stay for free. What are you gonna do? No, seeing the bed does not make me tired. Actually, um, got an idea here. Material, let's go to Barrett. Now, here's a very important thing that I can explain to you. Now, you see how this is just a one-socketed item? It's individual. You see how those two sockets for Restore and this one, there, there's like a link between, there's like a bridge connecting the two dots, right? See how that goes. Well, restore, and we just picked up an all material. We're going to link those together. Now, what this does, the all materia itself, um, oh, and materia also has levels, too. That's what the AP is for at the end of a battle. Um, action points, ability points, let's call it ability points for now. I might be wrong on the name. But, um, well, just for argument's sake, you can see ice. AP at 75. So we've gained 75 AP from the start of the game. Cloud had both the lightning and the ice materia equipped on him, so they both have 75 AP. Now, uh, going back to the all materia. All is useless on its own. You need it linked to something for it to do anything. You can level it up. Now you see all those stars down there? Uh, that, that's connected to the all? Um, that's how many levels it gets, so that would be what, it's it's technically level one, I guess? There's, there's four more stars that need to be filled in, in that slot area. And to the next level, it needs 1500 AP, which is not the same as your character experience. You know, as I was saying, you know, Cloud here, this Lightning only has 75, Cloud we started off, what, at level five, level six, and we're already level eight. So there are different, uh, characteristics to that. Your character should level up. Uh, generally, especially here low level, should uh, level up a lot faster than the materia should. The magic stone, if you will. However, like I said, all is useless on its own. It can still level up, but it does nothing on its own. When you have it in a connected socket here, well now, instead of just restoring health to one person, the all materia allows Barrett to, or whoever has it, this will allow him to restore health to everybody all the characters and that also works uh if if i had the all materia attached with let's just give you the example here's the all materia and ice so now instead of casting ice on one enemy linked in together when it's bridged the all materia will cast ice on everybody out in the field so that's kind of the unique thing there we'll keep him with the all and restore because that's just a great combo to have if you really think about it uh, yeah, cure, no, well, restore all. It's a good way to have it. And all materia, like I said, it's best to have it linked with something. Doesn't really matter what. Even if it's not linked, it will level up, but it's functionally useless. Unless you have it connected with something. So, keep that in mind. Andy! Uh, we seem to be done here. We're not gonna, we're not gonna crash in this kid's room for ten gold. That's nothing. Ain't doing that. Be a gathering uh, outside there. Now the stairs, what the hell about this guy? <laughs> He'll forget about it. Oh, you! Uh, get my friend on the second floor to teach you. No, 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 no like, I'm, I'm done talking to you. Let me walk away. Thank you, sir. So everybody was gathered up around here. We're going to another reactor. Oh, who's this? And where'd you go? You woman, what is it? Aha, I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. I get you. I'm not a parent myself, but I get you. Wait, is this a house or a business? Because you put toilet 
over the door. Like, I see toilet paper right up there. Huh. I left their shoes here. You just have a curtain to the bed. Dude, if, if you are here with your son, where the fuck does he sleep? This isn't even livable. Does he sleep out here in front of the TV? Might be warm. You have a toilet? Maybe there's a shower in there, I can't tell. In one bed. Sir, you're very large. I don't think your wife can fit in the bed with you. That's just my opinion. Uh, listen, there's the name you want to listen. What's the use of getting gossip on everyone? Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah, and you, Mr. I don't care. I'll get more information that would, uh, pique even your interest. You wait and see. Bet not, Spetsnaz. Nothing else over here? Okay. Just to check around with things. What we got? Ah, Johnny's gone. Look a little disappointed. I don't like to say myself, but I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. This lady's glitching out way over. She's got to get gossip on people. Well, let's get moving along, see what's what. Get back here, remember this area. Dude's not sitting in his spot anymore. Fuck it, we're here, let's save. I'm supposed to get back on that train, so you never know. It's already been an hour, 36, 37 minutes. I've been very descriptive so far. Like, I know this game, but I'm, I'm playing to the audience here. I had it, me too. You know, this is the first thing we've ever agreed on something. Yes. Well then, shall we? Yes. What, just pass out? What'd they do there? No oh, good. Why'd they just run away? What's up with you guys? Morning. Dawn comes, things never change. You be careful not to get hurt. Come on back again, here. Fair enough. Close the door. All aboard. Let's move. Let's rock here, huh? Yo! This ain't no private car, so split up! Hoodlums again. God! Don't I have just all the luck? Ooh. You say something? I said, you say something? Oh, you done pissed them off now. Look at that. Got empty all of a sudden. Where's Samuel L. Jackson when we need him, right? What's going on? Damn. It's empty because of guys like you. Wham. Yipes! You, you've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? I won't give in to violence. Barrett! Uh-oh. Teeth had to come break. He was gonna, he was gonna kill him. Fuck, you lucky cunt licker. I don't know what he's saying, so I'm gonna make up all kinds of vile shit. Yo, what are we gonna do now? Fuck. The hell are you so calm? You're busting my rhythm. Barrett, anything to bust your rhythm. A fucking earthquake. Looks like they finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. Good. Good, so what's our next target? Here's the yard. Ha! Listen to Mr. Serious about his fucking work all of a sudden. Shit. Alright, I tell you. Jesse's probably already told you. There's a security checkpoint at the top plate. Uh, it's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning and welcome to Vigor Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we've got only three more minutes to get the ID checkpoint. Alright, three minutes, we're jumping off this train. Got it? Okay. Doesn't sound safe, but I'm... Oh, sweet, just lounging signal. Well, come over here. Let's look at the railway map line. What about this guy? Hmm? You're the only ones that'll talk to me or come to my house. I'm impressed. Sorry, streetcar bum. Shinra manager. Wow! Don't worry about me. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm gonna break it. Everybody work about this. Yo, Mr. Know it all big time soldier. You ought to know the area around the number five reactor, right? So let's hear your explanation. Okay. What about T-Bump here, huh? Not too bad, you know, kind of a 
spandex from top and all. The dress, I don't even know. Fair enough. Hmm, looks like I've seen this already. It's alright, come a little closer. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. That's on the IG, uh, the ID checkpoint. It's supposed to be further down. Security A, uh, Type A security alert. Excuse me. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all the cars will be conducted. Repeat, Type A security alert. Cancellation button! Hurry! Space Paul's reference. Unidentified passengers confirmed. Uh, yeah, let's, let's move. What's happening? They just said. What's going on? They just said we're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. No time to explain. Fuck. Someone blew it. Unidentified passengers located in car one. Preparing for lockdown. Let's go. Keep it up. Oh, I'll walk. Oh, boy. Car one lockdown. Upgrading a level two warning. Hurry. They're locking the door. Just run. Well, you want this? Yeah. Got a high potion. Talk to the people. You never know. A high potion is like three times stronger than a regular potion. Car number two, lockdown. Upgrading to warning level three. All right, we clear? Not yet. They're starting another check. We're, car we're done for. But don't worry. If we move up the train, car by car, we should get past it. All right, let's do that. Let's move. Here we go. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? Nowhere to run. Lost it, that's right. She stole my money. That son of a bitch thought he'd get away with it. Johnny? Isn't he the guy? Wasn't he Saul Rosenberg? Who's this guy? It's terrible. Who'd expect underwear bandits on this? Underwear bandits? You mean they're naked? They're naked. I don't know locked down. Okay, let's move here. Let's get going. Alright, we made it. So we're in front of the train, I guess. Yo, this way. Alright, Baron, what do we got? Let's go. We're gonna dive out of here. Okay. The Tifa says, scary, huh? We wait for that now. Why'd you come along anyway, Tifa? That's a good question. Because. Hey, you two. Ain't no time for that. No jibba jab, huh? Cloud, do I look good in your uniform? Yeah, convince me. I didn't know it was you. You look great, just like a man. Yay, I'm so happy. Okay. Yo, you know what time to waste? Do something. Let's jump. Yeah, I made up my mind. Watch closely, I'm gonna jump. We'll go ahead, Tifa. You don't care if I go first? Leader always go, uh, stays till the end. Don't worry about me, just go. Okay, go. Don't go get your spiky ass hurt. From the beginning of this mission. Shrug. It's great. Cloud does the Kanye shrug. Or does Kanye do the Cloud shrug? Huh? Huh? Later, we take care of the rest. Well, that is Biggs, Jesse, and Wedge. Ain't that something? They were in disguise. Helping us out whilst in disguise. Anyway, good. So far, everything's going as planned. Really? Really? Don't let your guard down until we get to the Sector 5 reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it! Uh, well... The reactor's just down this tunnel. What if I head backwards, though? Isn't that a thing? Whoop! Yeah, the battle music starts before the, uh... Oh no, this is Tifa's... It's like a roulette. This is Tifa's Limit Break gimmick. Other critical hit there. Nice. So, that will slow you down. Uh, maybe. We got six AP in that battle. 
Yeah, instead of one person having all the magic, let's, uh... I want to share that wealth. Let's... See, hmm, let me just go backwards just for the fun of it all. And maybe there's nothing to this. That's fine. But it would be, though. Oh, shit. There was a little trick. You notice how we all spun around? If you hit L1 and R1 here on the PS4, you go to run away from the battle. If you're ever being back attacked, that is the clear way to get yourselves turned around, so it's not technically a back attack. It's a weird little glitch. I wonder if they fixed it for this version of the game, but that was an old, uh, a little trick back on the PS1. And we were back attacked for this mission. This battle, excuse me. You just return to your back, click the buttons real quick, and all you gotta do is tap them. If you hold them down, that means you're trying to run away from the battle for damn sure. There's spider web, wonder what that does. Don't know, but we got him. How far back can we run? And is there any use whatsoever? Doesn't look like it so far. Let there be something. Let's keep going and find out. Why not? Wrong way, nothing. So nice. Let's see, what's your... Like, we got back attack in the last mission. Now, even your formation. Barrett is still in the back row, so to speak. When we get back attacked, technically he's then in the front row. You know, I mean, it makes sense logically. That's why Cloud and Tifa were doing hardly any damage in that last battle. Because, see, as they're staggered, you know, like, like two people up front... How can I portray this? Ugh. Two people? That's terrible. Alright, how about Thump? We'll do the little I love you, right? The person in the middle is in the back row. Two people on the outside are up front, so when that gets flipped around, you get what I'm saying. Right? Right? Terrible representation by fingers. But you get what I'm saying. If Barrett's in the back row under normal circumstances, well, we get jumped from behind. That's not a normal circumstance. Now he's technically in the front row. Cloud and Tifa, doing half damage, are in the back row. Hello? Shinner security guards are there. We've got to turn back. Let's fight them. You're the avalanche! Who are you, the Red Wings? That's a double pun, goddammit. Think about that. Avalanche, Red Wings. That's a hockey joke and or an old school or uh, Final Fantasy what? Was that two? Or whatever. The Red Wings. Wasn't that the, the, the fleet that they had? Wasn't that the game with Kane and Cecil? Oh, maybe. Ow! Oh, that hurt you, a-hole. Excuse me. Nine AP for that fight. That's pretty good. That's almost ten. Avalanche is attacking! Intruders! Oh shit! More security's coming! It's dangerous to stay here! Stay here! Well, okay then. They just bum-rush us. There were two of them, not three! Let's see what we can do! 42 didn't kill him! I think I should've, uh... I think great. 50 fucking hit points, and we're doing like 47 damage. Damn it. A terrorist attack. Avalanche is attacking. More security is coming. Let's run. 
I wonder what's behind that door. There, to my knowledge, there's nothing. There's no way to get past that constant wave of attackers. It's there specifically for... Uh, you can grind. Kind of level up early in the game. But then again, it's also meant to kill you. So... You know. Shot a rocket at me and missed. Oh, that one got a 40. That one kind of hurt. 49 didn't kill it. Bet you'd have one left. I kind of hit her for a little bit, huh? Aha, level up. Now she's level 7. Jesus, 9, 8, and 7? Let's get the hell out of here. Now we went down about four screens from where we first jumped off the train. Yep. It's not such an idiotic loop, it's it's actual. We gotta get back to where we was, and it all looks the same, don't get me wrong, but if it's normally, let's say, two screens up, well, we went down four screens. So, gotta work our way back to, like I said, where we jumped off the train. First, maybe I should have an elemental, uh... Oh, magic attack instead of restore. I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. Uh -huh. I do apologize for the yawning. However, my Friday nights suck because I usually work, but my Saturday nights are even worse because I have to get up at 4 a.m., get to work at 6 a.m. On a Saturday, I have to be to work at 6 a.m. So I normally don't get a lot of sleep, Friday night, nor do I get good sleep. So yes, I'm yawning, I'm tired. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm yawning and I'm tired. I've been recording for not even two hours. I'm yawning and I'm tired. The fuck? As in what the? Or just what? I did say the fuck, that's true. Hey, all right, we got Gorn beans. Those light beams are the shimmer security sensors. We can't go any further. Well, you see there's a red thingy right there, so let's utilize that, huh? That's one damn tiny hole. Haven't heard that in two nights. You told me to squeeze into that and get out of the plate? No way. Cloud, what are we gonna do? Let's look inside real quick. What we got? Doesn't seem to be anything that'll get us stuck in this duct. Okay, but if we go down this duct, we won't be able to come back. We have to fight our way out of wherever. Don't be wasting time, never know when the Shinra will find us. Cloud, you just gotta go. You were just saying you were scared. Well, let's go down then. Go down. Haven't heard that in two nights. Giggity, 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 goo. But damn, man, thing gives me the chills. So, like, Barrett is claustrophobic then? That's interesting. What do we got? Another ether. Which I believe restores magic points. Okay, run here, run here, do this. Put a bingo. Nope. Battle. What did I miss? Shit! Barrett can attack one thing, Cloud can attack another on his own. Hopefully it'll kill him. If he does 50... 48, he did not. He would do that. Hell bubbles, they look so peaceful. But it missed. I can launch for another 45. She's kind of hurting. But she is on limit break as well. Limit break? Hit the one on the left. No, it's random. Okay. It didn't kill these things, but it's a limit break. It's supposed to kill everything. Kind of tough. Taking quite a pounding. Critical hit of 64 finally puts it to an end. 10 AP, uh, yeah, 10 AP on that one. That's good. It's really good. 
Uh, you know what? Let's go magic, go over to Barrett. Get that cure go- oh, but- Here's the difference. When you're in the menu like this, you can restore health to one person individually. Or if you hit... What, L1 or R1? See how there's like three little blinking fingers now on each face? That's how that works. But only... Now well, you know what? It's going to cost us 5 MP. See all the way along the edge of the screen. 5 needed. Now, individually... Uh, oh, and also... Jeez, let me get to that too. Each spell... Well, look at Materia Lightning. It's level 1. It's got one star filled up out of the 4 down there. You can only use that Lightning spell once per battle. So, same thing with the Cure. Although, like, we're not in a battle right now. It doesn't apply. But if you're in a battle, hey, I can only use Restore once if I'm Barret in the battle. Kind of forgot about that part. So, they're not only levels, it's, it's also how many times you can use said spell. So, that's important. Now, if you look here, it takes 5 MP to cast this spell. Barrett has 47. I mean, he can use this quite a bit. However, if he does it individually on one person, it's kind of a big jump in restored HP. If he does use, you know, the all function, um, it'll be portionate to each person. Like, you know, 33 and a third percent of the restore gets divided evenly. I'm just mostly concerned about Tifa right now, but let's just do the all. Hey, it restored everything and everybody. Well, 316 out of 317. Almost. So that was a good gamble instead of just going, you know, let's just cure Tifa straight up alone. We'll worry about Barry and Call later. No, nope, that was actually a very, uh, nothing major, but down the road, your magic points will be something you need to fucking keep tabs on in battle. And otherwise. I was like, well, I need to cast another spell, but I only have so much MP. Like, how much should I waste? What, when do I find a save spot? When do blah blah blah? I need to figure out all this shit. Hoo ha. Oh, hey! It's Jesse. I'm sorry, the ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. Okay, whatever. No sweat off my balls. Not that I want sweat on my balls, but never mind. Fuck all that shit, don't worry about it. Pigs! We're gonna pull out now, we'll meet up at the hideout. Cloud, we're counting you, you to blow up the reactor. Hey, it's a tent! And a save point! Which you can only use tents on save areas. World map is included with that. But, uh, don't need the tent right now. A tent, I believe, will restore all of your missing HP and all of your missing MP to full. Doesn't matter how much you got. You got... Whew. A ceiling of 2,000, and you only got 48, it'll fill it all. Does. Not. Matter. Keep on attack these things, come on. See, he only hit for 49, so we hit him twice. 50, there you go, there's good damage. You do 50 on your own until he sees one shot. Don't hit damage. Or did I just come from this way? No, I don't think I did. What is this? Hopefully we're getting close. Oh shit! No, no, no. No, go, go back up there. Thought there was like something I could do here. No. Let's see. Yep. Slide down the slide. Sweet. Why the battles? Those, oh shit. These are those other tough hombres. Oh baby Jesus. They're just pistol. My brain does not want to function. I am getting tired. I 
I might need to take a snooze, I'm not gonna lie. Why does it show my stream is not up? What's the deal? Which I don't believe you. I just don't. Level up! Oh, yeah, he's level 10. She's so close to the sun. Can't talk. I can't. can't talk. Oh, well. There's a little move along here. Little doggy. This looks exactly like the last one. Oh, there's no item here, though. Remember the last time I think there was a potion on there. the same place like there, there's a safe spot right there right by the little door entrance thingy what the fuck whoops no. save excuse me Again, what was this? This happened last time. What, what the fuck are we looking at? What is this? Papa. Suffer off. Um, why did Sephiroth do this? Or did Sephiroth do it? Either way. Sephiroth, soldiers, Mako, reactors, Shinra. I hate them all! What is up with that sword? What is this? Some kind of a flashback or a visual? Like, what's going on here? Was that a vision? And that, that said it was Tifa. Damn, man, get a hold of yourself. Thank God there's a railing here. All right. Tifa. Hmm? No, forget. Come on, let's hurry. Well, Cloud, what the fuck? You just, like, blacked out there for a second. Or who knows how long? They're not even telling us. I know. You're my chaperone, right? Old friend, that ain't good enough. Really? So you're not gonna co-sign for her? Like if she's been good to you, you're, you're not gonna like. Okay, this guy's a good guy. If anything, I would have, I would like co-sign on somebody else saying something. Because then, like, if they fuck it up, it's like, well, they fuck it up. Well, like that means you were wrong, but they said it first. I was. A, that's why they say, you know, sorcerers close to the situation. Say this, 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 and this. That's why they do that is because it's a little bit of credibility. Better no. than all of us. No. no. I see my brain nearly shut down there. I nearly passed out just sitting there. I sound really punch drunk, don't I? It's the tired sleepies. Tifa, there you go. Level it up. What was I talking about? Having flashbacks? Shinra stuff? Or whatever. 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 No big deal. Do your worst. Some damage rolling. Let me, uh, let me swing up organic green tea for the gaming guys and girls out there. I wanted to hit him individually. Uh, kind of solo, because we'd already been hitting the other enemies, and I didn't want to waste a limit break on an enemy that's already been hit. Especially these little shits. Like, eh, there's nobody. We all right on that note. Hmm, 
All right, Mike. Let's uh. Need a ten. Let's get a couple of potions going. I think that's gonna be all right for us. You're good. MP. I think that's mainly through uh, missions and through level up type game. So that's uh, don't need to totally worry about. It, I don't think. And you know what else? If today had to be uh, to work at 6 a.m. on a Saturday. Tomorrow, live from Wembley Stadium, that's going to be 9 a.m. here on the East Coast of the States. Uh, who was it? It's the, in the NFL. It's the Los Angeles Rams. I forgot who they're playing. Now, like, why are they sending these teams over there to the NFL? Is it Cleveland? I don't think so. Ram, uh, Rams and Browns. Totally forgot. Honest to God, forgot. Really just fucking ready to snooze out here. <laughs> nope, no, no, I went. Oh, fuck. Total brain fart. Total brain fart. Climb, damn it. Now we set the bar. We're good to go, right? I mean, I've been blanking out myself here. I'm tired as fuck. tired by the second. Son of a bitch. Let's just kill stuff, huh? How's everybody doing out there, by the way? A couple of lurkers here on the Twitch. So, let me kick something off somebody, a little conversation, something. I'm fading away here. And if I'm lucky, I got four hours of sleep last night. Gotta get myself a little further. A little further. Hey, Barrett, level up. He is now level 10. A grenade? Hmm. Grenades, I believe, are, like, throwable-type weapons. Switch on. Okay. So all we need to do is go this far? All right. Hey, a chest. More ether. You know, when you need to snort that shit and make your brain power strong. What is this? There's two panels on that side, one on the other. Jesse said we all have to push the button at once. Way late. No good, let's try again. Three, two, one. Too early. It's kind of like punching bald bull on Mike Tyson's punch out. That's good enough. Third time to try. Gotta get that timing right though. Got to. There's a save point, and how ominous! Let's utilize this here save point, take ourselves a little time out on the stream side of things. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm fading away. Maybe a little bit of food, slight nap will help me. I'll always come back to it later. But, tone down a little bit. Two hours in! And, well, we kind of get the understanding that Shinra, Soldier, all that shit... ...bad for the planet, and we, part of Avalanche... Trying to stop Shinra from doing all their death, destruction, and chaos. So that's what we're gonna have lined up for us the next time we play the live stream Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII. And uh, for those of you interested, I got some Twitch lurkers going. You found me here on Twitch. The name's up there, MJ Lakomiak. 
Well, it's the same name that I have on YouTube. It's the same name that I have on Twitter. That's the good thing. So just copy and paste that. Check me out on Twitter. You can find out when I'll be pressing the record button and what game we will be playing. From there, come on back here into Twitch if you're there at the right time. And you can watch me live, well, live stream the game that I said we're going to be recording. You get the idea. If you miss an episode or you want to see, you know, the little bits of intro to this if you've never seen this game, which would kind of be shocking, and you want to see kind of the build-up, the first two hours of the game that I've done, if you want to see how this goes, give it a little bit of time. Once I'm done recording here on Twitch, I export my videos over to my YouTube channel. So there you go, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. It's the same username for me. Easier for you to find, easier for me to remember exactly what the name is. So just right up there, it's kind of like MJ Lecumia. You can copy and paste that. Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Making it easy for you to check what I got going. And while everything else that I'm doing, it's not just RPGs, it's not just sports games, it's not just first-person shooters, it's a variety of all that shit. Call me a variety gamer, variety streamer, either way, it doesn't matter to me, so long as you like the content that I'm pushing out there. And honestly, to put it in, into a, a, a more condensed source for you, I don't care if you're watching on an Android, an iPhone, a PC, a Mac, a PS4, an Xbox One, a tablet. It doesn't matter to me how you're watching, so long as you are watching. The better part of all that stuff... Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, it's all free for you to, you know, check in and watch. That's the better part of it. So, you know, there's no fancy gimmicks. It's not a paid subscription on Twitch. It's not a paid subscription on Twitter. It's not paid subscriptions on YouTube. I mean, those are kind of optional if you want to support the channel that you're watching of whoever the broadcaster might be. Separate things all together. But just to sign up so it's easier for you to track the games you like, the streamers you like, celebrities on Twitter and all that shit. Just a valid email address, valid email account, they'll say, like, yeah, just verify that this is you. You can get your own channel here on Twitch. You can get your own page, channel up there on YouTube. You can start, you know, be the next trending thing on Twitter. You never know. Could be you. You never know. But it's all free for you to just log in and get signed up so that way you can get succinct with the things you like whether it be video game specific. Maybe you like uh, watching the videos on YouTube of like, you know, cute little kittens doing stuff. Or like animals at the zoo doing funny things. It's all there for you to check it all out. Not just gaming stuff, but a wide variety of things. And that's what I like to do, gaming-wise, is give you variety. Like I said, sports, RPGs, first-person shooters. I do a little bit of everything. So check them out if you want to. Like I said, plenty of ways to get a hold of my stuff, uh, get a hold of me, find stuff, and see what's what out there. Cat Mafia just getting into the house. Man, I'm just about to shut down here. Two hours worth of Final Fantasy VII, but hey, give it a little bit of time, and I'll have it saved up on my YouTube page. And you can check exactly how we got two hours, ten minutes, and thirty seconds into this thing. All that being said, thanks so much for those of you that did chip in and chime in. And for all the lurkers here on Twitch... Well, I will be back at some point, hopefully soon. Should be, you know, in a little bit. Like, coffee might not be the trick. Maybe a quick little snooze, watch a college football game for a little bit, pass out for, I don't know, an hour or so. We'll get back to this. Trust me, we will get back. All that being said, MJ signing out for now. Till we meet again, everybody. And as per usual, I usually don't know, don't know when or where. Probably gonna be this game, it's probably gonna be in this reactor. But I do know that I will catch your ass down the road. <laughs>